Today we've got something a little bit different for you. And as a vegetarian, it's something that I'm a little bit freaked out by. Place it in front of the laser. So there's already something moving Exactly, there, that it? is the signal from the laser, and it's not just some random noise. Yet this week we're not only manipulating images, but also sound, as we uncover whether plants are actually listening to each other. So today we've invaded the lab of Dr. Monica Galliano here, one of the front runners in the field of plant acoustics. Thanks for having us, Monica. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I mean, how long has this sort of been around? Because the idea that plants make noises to me is crazy, it's mad. Well, the, the idea in itself has been around for a very long time. Uh, it's pretty much in the folkloristic um, background of most cultures. I'm sure you heard so many people saying, like, I talk to my plants in the garden. And yeah, they're, they're nuts as Monica, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing, is like, maybe they are totally crazy, uh, but maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. And uh, I guess it's like um, the role of science is uh, to not discount anything. That sounds amazing. I think we should... Uh Get to it and try and have a listen to some of these plants and yeah. see okay. what's going on. I almost won't believe it till I hear it myself. Well, <laughs> prepare to be surprised then. <laughs> so this is the laser room where we do the experiments and this is Rob. So Rob, talk us through this machine then. What, what is this? Um, so this is a uh, laser Doppler vibrometer and the principle it works on is pretty well known to everybody when you hear like an ambulance going past. <laughs> exactly. So the change in the frequency tells you how quickly it's moving. Now, that principle has been around for years, and if you shine a laser on an object and you look at the change in the frequency of the light, you can determine how much it's moving, and that's how it works. If you were on the moon and you were filming the Earth with the laser, you could detect changes in the Earth's diameter of less than 0.1 millimeters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the sensitivity is incredible, and because these roots um, make very small vibrations, this is the ideal tool to measure it by. And the sound the, effectively being just vibrations, really. Uh, exactly, yeah. yeah. Amazing. So we've yep. got the root in here, do we want? Yeah, it's in a little chamber. I can uh, show it to you. It's really small. This one just started <laughs> germinating. Place it in front of the laser. Let's see if I can. Oh, there we are. Yeah. And if you... So there's already something moving Exactly, there. that yeah. is the signal from the laser, and it's not just some random noise yeah. from the environment, so that is a really good signal. Yeah. And can we hear this at all? Is it sort of, is it just looking at the waveforms? Or can uh, you actually hear yeah, the no, as well? it can be sort of audible. Yeah. <laughs> well, so that's it, that crackling is the plants talking. This crackling noise would be in the soil, and if you can imagine, this is just a just a little shoot just coming out if you can imagine a fully developed root system and for some trees the root system is actually bigger than the tree that you see on the top yeah uh, there will be a lot of activity and have you done time-lapse stuff at all to see how the plants actually respond to these sounds uh, yeah that is possible and um, i can show you the setup as well yeah that'd be great that'd be, that'd be yeah. cool cool so this is the time-lapse setup is it yeah we play through a computer a specific frequency, which we know that for this species is around 200 hertz. Have you ever done it with more than one? Yes. We have done some playbacks where we have played different frequencies. And, um, and you know, if you look at 100 hertz, then you move to 200, 300, up to 600, I think we tried. Uh, there is a sort of preferential response for the 200 mark and the other frequencies that just don't do anything. And so, so that's your speaker there, is it, playing yeah, stuff through? Yeah, basically uh, connected to the laptop, playing a specific frequency, 200 hertz, in a cost constant loop, which must be so boring <laughs> for the plant, but uh, it seems, we don't know what it means to the plant, but it seems that they, they would bend towards the sound. For more revelations from the natural world, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you soon on Earth Unplugged. So this is going to be the bad boy that we're decomposing today. Right. Uh, this is a Bosx monitor lizard or a savannah monitor and uh, very sadly died of natural causes but then he got donated to us. Hopefully with the time lapse we'll be able to see uh, exactly what happens once he starts decomposing. Yeah, it should be really revealing.